Hi everyone, I'm James Haskell and as you know I am not short of a word or two. So with Grenade I have teamed up to decide to give you my view on 2020. So check it out if you want to get triggered. 2020 was a shit year, right? It's probably been the worst year of all time. What's got me is, is not Donald Trump trying to cling on to an election, not Boris saying to stay at home, but go to work, but go to work, but stay at home. Go into a restaurant, wearing a mask, but then sit at a table without a mask as if Corona knows to fuck you when you come in the door, but not get you at the table. By the way, we can ram a pub, but we can't go and sit into a sports stadium. But the thing that fucked me off more than anything else on this planet, right, was the fucking simpletons who went and raided all of the toilet paper. Go to the toilet paper aisle because you have to shit. Desolate. They've even taken the baby wipes, right? And if you want a smooth dairy air like I, what I've got, you need to baby wipe that shit. That's a professional's touch. Take that on board. You go there and you think, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself today, but a double quilted. Oh no. Oh no. People have fucking hammered it. And I had to fucking go and shit with kitchen paper. And that is a low blow. One sheet, you know, <laughs> you might need one sheet. Not on this ass. It was sore. So fucking sort it out, you dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the other things that's real bad about this, right, the toilet paper, it's the fuckers baking banana bread, the non-stop. Like I went round there to get some flour for some pancakes to cheer my fucking self up because I hate lockdown, but I love pancakes. Like it was like they went, you know what? I'm gonna shit myself to death, but I also need to bake every motherfucking thing in, 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 the, in, the, in the cookbook. People were pretending to be Nigella Lawson, Delia Smith was risen from the dead. I mean, no, she's not dead, but she might as well. That's a bit harsh, she's not actually, but oh, she got, oh, she got steaming. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Come on. Not round the fucking cooking aisle, you fools. Training in the gym. Oh, absolutely not, right? 22 million gym visits, right? seven cases of corona traced back to gyms. They are cleaner than pubs. They're better for you than fast food restaurants. Being out of shape is not good for you. I'm not telling you to look like somebody else. I'm just telling you that if you don't train, you have no cardiovascular health, you are fucking yourself up. Now, I'm not a negative man by trade. I'm absolutely positive. I've got a really good smile on me sometimes. But I tell you what was also interesting about 2020. One of the things that was unbelievably positive was Captain Tom. I know Joe Wicks is like a close second, you know, waking up with pee, but I don't have kids and I don't want to watch him going, oh yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, lunges, yeah, skipping, oh brilliant. Oh yeah, good. Oh, lean in 15. I'm only jealous because he's got a boatload of cash. He's an absolute housewife's favorite and uh, he's gonna be more successful than I'm ever gonna be. But Captain Tom, right? That old boy, he is, he's gone, he's taken his mobility scooter to one side or his Zimmer frame and he's gone, do you know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna get off my ass, right? He fought in World War II. He's an absolute boy. This senior gentleman, this legend, this thing that epitomizes what's good about Britain. Before we got the council culture, before we got this fucking thing where we, we lost our identity, we're all apologizing for who we were. And you know, if you use the St. George's flag, you're immediately the leader of the BNP or the EDL. Captain Tom is a proper British gent. And he has gone, do you know what? He's got out of his comfortable armchair or his probably reading the Radio Times, sitting there, listening on the wireless, or whatever old people do. I don't know, I'm not old, but I will be one day. But at this rate, with the way amount of shit I talk, someone's probably gonna fill me in. He's decided I'm gonna walk 100 laps, right? He's like 97, but he has galvanized a population. Something like, is it 30 odd million he raised? He's probably still raising money now. Why has it taken all of us to get behind someone just to praise the NHS? The NHS didn't just get invented, it's been there for a long time. Now, Tom has inspired a nation, and to be honest with you, he got us through this. But the NHS has been marginalised, attacked, reduced, complained about, when it is one of the best fucking things we have in this country, right? When it comes to this new year, it's going to be a fucking nightmare, because they're going to say, we've got no money, you've got to pay more taxes. They're going to fuck the middle class, people like me who shop at Waitrose, guilty. They're going to talk about where we need to make cuts. And at some point, they're gonna shoehorn the NHS into there. Just remember, right? Just like a dog is not for Christmas, the NHS is not just for a pandemic. 